So yes, my name is Jennifer Smith, and let me see if I can share my presentation. All right, does everyone see that? Okay. Um, so my company is called Oxcart Communication, and um, I'm brand new. I'm a solo entrepreneur, so um, I just started last fall. Um, and then, of course, the last couple, the last month has been interesting, right, as a, as a brand new uh, endeavor. Um, so, but before we start, I wanted to show, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, what have you guys been doing during your quarantine? Um, does anyone want to be brave and share something fun that's been going on at your house? I don't know if you can unmute people or, or maybe in the a comments. Lot of Disney movies. Disney movies. Yes. Lots of movies. My kids actually think it feels like a weekend every single night. Yeah. Um, lots of movies, uh, maybe some new hobbies. Um, I actually have been, um, going through old pictures. So I'm going to be brave and share a couple. Okay. So this is me as a little, like four or five year old. And unfortunately my mother had two daughters and really wanted a boy and she got me. So as you can tell, I, I sported that boy haircut for all of my childhood um, until I got old enough that I told my mom I wanted to grow my hair longer than a boy. And then I came up with this gem. Yeah, I'm the middle one. Um, yeah, that's some, that's some good 80s, huh? That's, that's a, I mean, the primary colors. Yeah, so I found that and my kids were pretty excited to see, see those flashy outfits. So um, hopefully you guys have been able to, you know, either have a new hobby or <laughs> enjoy looking back, you know, walk down memory lane. Um, here's my family today. Um, so I've got three kids and a dog and they're all outside right now. So I told them they had to stay outside till I left them back in. So I'm about ready. I, I locked the door and told them not to come in. So hopefully they stay. Um, okay. So back to, back to Oxcart. Um, so I spent, let's see, just about 20 years um, in writing, design, communications, uh, and then both in the for-profit sector and the not-for-profit sector at various times. So um, this past fall, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to see what the freelance market looks like. And, and it's been a load of fun. So lots of fun. Um, as my kids like to say, my services are, are words and pictures. So that's an easy way, easy way to think about it. Um, uh, writing, design, websites, branding, mostly. Um, so my, my spot that um, I'm finding is the smaller business that um, really wants a marketing person a couple days a month or um, wants some help getting out communications to their clients or their customers possibly a new website. Um, they, I have had a couple of different people who actually wanted, you know, some print communication sent out or just a new look. So those smaller businesses that want a fabulous looking website um, have been lots of fun to work with because I just love, I love hearing everyone's story and, and where they're coming from. So um, I am, um, right now it's just me, so I don't have any employees yet, um, and I'm kind of enjoying it that way. It's, it's kind of fun to, to do um, both sides, owning it, but also doing the work. So I am a writer who designs, um, so that's my background. Um, so we couldn't do a, um, a video clip because it makes Zoom unstable, and I'm, since my Zoom's unstable anyway, um, but I thought I would walk you through a little commercial that helps me think about um, um, my business. So have you seen these bounty commercials? And they're hilarious because they give you like a scene, like this is a morning and dad is making a green smoothie, which my children won't drink. Um, and then he, you know, that's very healthy looking. And then he steps on the Lego, which 
by the way, I think the small Legos are much more painful than those big ones, by the way. Um, okay, so we step from Lego and then, ah, and then it's like this hilarious, ah, and then, you know, it's going towards mom and her lovely blazer. And then they say, quick, get the quicker picker upper. And then they show these side by side, which is pretty funny. The ordinary leading brand, which why is it leading if it lets all that through? So what I wanted to quick talk about is this idea of saturation um, and using that commercial as just a, a mental image of what saturation looks like. Um, we talk a lot about our society and how um, from a communication standpoint, we have a lot of information coming through and, you know, I don't know about you, but you know, like sometimes the kids school emails, it feels like they're sending me so much that, you know, some things are dripping through my paper towel. Um, we have some information overload. Um, but you know, we are kind of longing for a good story. So um, we are saturated, we have a lot, but then sometimes we find ourselves logging onto someone else's blog that we don't even know and reading this whole thing about this person we don't even know. Um, does anyone recognize this guy? Does anyone recognize this guy from a couple years ago? Um, this young man's name is Tyler Trent. And um, I had the privilege of being one of his last interviews before he passed away um about a year and a half ago and writing his story and this guy captured the media attention because he's just a normal kid from indiana but he was willing to share his story and his story of of battling bone cancer was pretty riveting so i had the chance to interview him write his story and um finding out that like everybody does like a good story so as, as I, my tagline is deliver your message, and I guess I just want to encourage each of us to identify what our message is, identify who our message is for, you know, who is your, like, like Leisha was saying, who is your sweet spot? Who are you going for? Identify your method. Um, how are you communicating to those people? And then who are your partners? So that's my spot. I love to um, partner with uh, small businesses especially but also medium-sized um, so yeah but before we go into questions I think my time's up but before we go into questions I, I want to answer the first question that you're all thinking because because I know exactly what you're thinking and your first question is going to be why is it called ox cart is that right is someone thinking that um, so the ox cart so this started when I visited India when I was in college and I saw this image of, you know, right alongside of these modern, like um, on a modern highway, there would be this ox cart, you know, full of stuff going into the city, into the market. And so how will you get your goods or services to market? How is anyone going to know about you? Um, communications is a vehicle, just like that humble ox cart getting your goods or services to market, and so deliver your message. And it's a little bit memorable, I hope. So, all right, so questions? I think I'm, am I, am I out of time? I don't know. No, you're perfect. We've still got time for questions. And yes, right. thank you for the contact information. If you could put that in the notes as well. Mm -hmm. What kind of questions do we have? This is just a comment. I, the, your logo, I think, is really striking. Um, and I think it does a good job of being able to support what you're trying to do. But it's, it's unique. And so I uh, just wanted to say nice job on that. Thanks. You know, when you're starting a new business, and, you know, so many of us have done these Google searches, right? You know, you don't want to be something sketchy or something we too weird, right? But you also want to be memorable. So, um, and orange is my favorite color, so that's why it's orange. <laughs> but trying to find that spot to get your, you know, get your goods or services to the people that need to know about them. And I am working in the co-working space as of right now. Um, I usually come during school, 
<laughs> but now I'm a homeschool teacher. Um, so I'm doing both right now. So. You had mentioned that you uh, enjoy kind of small businesses. What would you say would be your kind of ideal client, your ideal company to work with? Right. I, I love listening to the dreams of entrepreneurs. It's a blast to hear where they've come from and how they got to this spot. Um, and so I, I really love those small to medium sized businesses, the, you know, the ones with, you know, 10 to 15 employees who are getting big enough that they really want to, to look professional and to really have, have a great product or service, but they just aren't big enough to have a marketing department. So, um, I, so I'm, I love being their partner. I love being that I can go in and talk to them and find out what they're trying to communicate. And then I'm the one that actually does the work too. So, um, all my career, I was kind of that one man show marketing department, you know, a lot of times marketers, it's one or two people and they're doing everything. And so I really, I really do enjoy that size. Okay. Any any other questions here? She's got she's got loads of time. Okay. I couldn't I should have, you know, not rushed the pick. <laughs> I know people yeah, I, you know, I give the one minute and I was like, oh no, one minute. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not it's not like something's gonna explode or something's gonna self-destruct when the time runs out. So well, I I would um, like to say that um yeah. um I love Nexus and I love what Nexus stands for. And so um Part of my impact um, is that I give a, a discount to Nexus members um, because I, I do want to encourage what we're trying to do here by, you know, it's not just about the bottom line, it's about doing something good. And so that's, that's been a lot of fun also for me to meet other people who, um, you know, have such great ideas, but also who want to do good with their work. So anyway, I'm really, I'm really excited to be part of this community. Do you have a favorite kind of project? Um, you know, I love the variety. I do, I do a lot of web, like so far I've done a lot of web stuff. You know, um, I actually, I love print too because I'm older, <laughs> but it, it's, it's so fun to do both. I, I love doing like um, maybe coming up with a look and then letting that translate both from like web and, and then moving into everything that you have from your business cards, um, any print stuff you have laying around, having it all have the same look is, is a lot of fun. Okay. Well, hey, Jennifer. Let me, let me add, I'll jump, you have a little bit extra, so I'm gonna ask one last question. Um, okay. so, um, from the Nexus community who's present, is there anything that any that would be helpful to you? Um, to for are you looking for a, a, a dream project or anything like that? Um, you know, my what I've actually I've I kind of I, I've been following kind of a pattern. So I will do a project with a small business, typically or medium size, um, and then I kind of become their go-to marketing person, which is exactly what I would love is to continue to have like set clients that I service um, um, either hourly or, you know, a set contract. So um, I, I love that because then I can actually get to know the people that I'm working with and it feels more like I'm a member of their staff. And so that's, that's my, that's my goal is to probably have, you know, 10 businesses that I service, um, that to me is, is, is very rewarding more than just doing a single project. Does that make sense? I mean, I love doing single projects, but what I love is having that relationship so that when someone calls me and says, Oh, we need this. I know exactly what the ethos of their company is, where they're going. So, and that's actually happened already in the last six months. I, I already have several companies that I'm working with and then they feel comfortable just giving me a call and we have this little thing. Um, and I already know who they're talking about. I know the players and all that. So 
that's what I'm hoping to continue. Very cool. Thank you, Jennifer, for that. Okay. And uh, if you could, yeah, put in the, the chat your contact info, and I, I know that we can get, get that on the portal as well. 